The balloon came down carrying 20 tourists and their pilot, crashing here in an agricultural area just outside the city of Luxor. 19 passengers were killed, all of them Asian and European tourists, including two British nationals and a UK resident. The only survivors, one Scotsman and the Egyptian pilot. An American photographer told Sky News what he saw from his balloon, which took off minutes before the one that crashed. We heard a loud explosion behind us, and I looked back and saw lots of smoke, and it wasn't immediately clear that it was a balloon. And uh, then we could see the reaction of the pilot on the balloon, and he said this hasn't happened in a long time, and told us to look forward. Uh, they set the balloon down and then said nothing, and then we heard the emergency vehicles arrive. The balloon took off from a launch site on the west bank of the Nile. The plan was to sail over the iconic sites of Egyptian antiquity, taking in the Valley of the Kings as well as the temples at Karnak and Luxor. Witnesses say it was preparing to land when a cable got caught around the helium tube, causing a gas cylinder to explode. It's believed the basket carrying passengers caught fire as the balloon plunged to the ground. The balloon was landing and some of the workers were holding the ropes as it landed. One of the ropes cut off the helium tank and suddenly it caught fire and nobody was able to control the balloon and one of the tourists jumped out as it was flying up. Paramedics combed the mangled wreckage for survivors. Those still alive were rushed to Luxor International Hospital for treatment. Three injured people arrived at the hospital, one of them a British man who just passed away. He had serious internal bleeding in his stomach and he just passed away in intensive care. The second patient is Scottish and he's currently in a stable condition. We also have an Egyptian patient who was the pilot of the hot air balloon and he has 60% burns. All four of the British tourists involved in the crash booked their flights through their tour operator Thomas Cook. In a statement, its chief executive said, what happened in Luxor this morning is a terrible tragedy and the thoughts of everyone in Thomas Cook are with our guests, their family and friends. We're providing our full support to the family and friends of the deceased at this difficult time. Today's disaster evokes painful memories for Caroline Williams. She almost died in 2009 when her balloon exploded near Luxor, fracturing her spine. Within seconds, really, we, we reached the mast and there was a huge tearing sound overhead. And, well, I knew what had happened, but I look up, looked up and could see that the whole uh, the balloon was just ripped apart. Uh, it was really shocking. I mean, it just brings it all back, you know, the whole thing. You know, my heart sank when I heard that. Uh, yeah, horrible. As Egypt's tourism minister visited the site, officials declare that all balloon flights in the area have now been suspended as an investigation gets underway. It's been described as one of the deadliest balloon crashes in history. No doubt a huge blow to the country's tourist industry and an unspeakable tragedy for those involved. Ashish Joshi, Sky News. We've just received these pictures uh, coming in from Cairo. The man on the stretcher there uh, clearly holding uh, a cloth to his head there is 49-year-old Michael Rennie one of only two survivors. He's from Perth in Scotland.